hope this doesn't happen because that was one of my actually worst nightmares. Hello Barbie lovers and beyond and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here this is Marina the 90s Barbie and in this channel we unbox new dolls and we check out vintage dolls and we do tons of other amazing stuff related to Barbie so of course don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out so today's my birthday and I got this gal actually yesterday I can't even deal look at her this is our Barbie movie girl Barbie perfect day I am so excited for this movie I am so happy that I managed to get her for my birthday and the same goes for the birthday wishes Barbie that's right here my pink princess she's so adorable and I want to thank my good friend Yanis for helping me get her on time for my birthday because she's actually not available in our stores here and it was actually quite hard getting her from another city so I am so happy these are some of my best gifts and I'm so happy to finally have my Barbie movie doll so without any further ado let's get right into her let's celebrate together with this perfect day Barbie because today's my birthday and it is the best day ever like I said I am so excited for this movie and this doll and look at her <gasps> look at that packaging so pretty Margot Robbie here looks gorgeous and yeah I'm, I'm, I can't wait to check her out so without any further ado let's get right into it and actually after we're done I want to share some of my thoughts and theories regarding the Barbie movie that's coming so soon so let's start see our perfect day Barbie doll is out and about she's out of box and she's saying hello to all of us and all her friends she looks absolutely fabulous I am so happy with this doll and before I even begin analyzing her and her look I just wanted to say a huge thank you to the designer of this doll who perfectly transferred that absolutely sweet and gorgeous and so Barbie dress into the doll and of course to all the designers actually who worked on this amazing Barbie the movie line because all the dolls are fabulous and I believe they've done a phenomenal job so far I love everything I'm seeing so thank you very much this means so much to us Barbie people and yeah I'm very thankful about all of them but now it's time to take a closer look at this fabulous gal. So let's start with her beautiful face mold. This doll looks absolutely fantastic. I love that I'm seeing a whole new face mold, obviously, and I feel like I'm seeing a mix of the classic Barbie we all know and love and Margot Robbie. It's so, so interesting to see and I really, really love it. She looks very sweet but she also has Margot's beauty and yeah I really really appreciate that I think the face mold is pretty I know that everyone was freaked out when they first saw her but I mean come on she looks so gorgeous are you kidding me she is perfection her eyes are so beautiful so mesmerizing and I love her sweet smile I love the simple makeup I love the pink lipstick obviously and I think this is a great face mold overall other than that I am also obsessed with her bubble bangs I love bubble bangs and although these aren't exactly like Margot's in the trailers 
I love them so much because they're giving me 90s Barbie and this is something I love as you'll know so I'm definitely loving those bangs they are so cute and very Barbie of course very classic Barbie look I also think her hair is great quality it definitely needs a good brush but other than that the quality is fantastic the hair is soft and thickly rooted and I love that I also love her little bow on the top and as far as the accessories go I obviously really like the plasticky kind of daisies that she has because it's very faithful to the movie moving down I am so obsessed with that gingham dress it's very simple but it's very effective it's highly effective it's very happy it's very pink it's very very Barbie and I really really love that I love the little belt that she has on I love the pleats of the skirt so cute although because she was in the box this could actually need some ironing I feel but other than that the pleats go all the way to the back by the way it is very pretty it is very Barbie like what is not to love right this dress this dress I want for myself I will find a way I'll tell you that it's so cute and last but never least I cannot not talk about these fabulous fabulous heels her pumps they are so cute they're the most pretty shade of pastel baby pink and they have a little heart on the top I feel like this is a play of the classic Barbie shoe we knew from like the 80s and the 90s but with a little heart on top to make it a bit more interesting and literally it's adorable and for the technicalities of this doll she has the classic articulated body that like Barbie extra have she has articulation on the elbows and wrists and arms and the head and of course her legs and her knees also are articulated which is great this is my personal favorite I know that many people would have loved the made to move body but if you ask me this is my favorite one and of course she has heels people she has heels we can rest assured knowing that she has healed feet because that's actually a whole like plot line in the movie as we've seen from the trailer so yeah she does have healed feet which is great and like i said i really like this body so it's great for me and overall i think she is very 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 pretty my aesthetic is pink and pastel and princessy and very Barbie and I'm really, really happy that the main doll for this movie has this look. It makes me so happy to see and of course really love this doll and I really think that every collector out there should get her because she's a staple and she will be a staple for all of us collectors. This, this is an item that we have to have. So now on to see a full look of her. excited with this doll I really really love her look at her she looks so pretty I love that we're both in pink plaid of course so I tried to match her obviously and I love it so yeah I'm really really happy I am really thankful that I was able to get her and this gal for my birthday and I really am so grateful about everything including all the wonderful wishes you've sent me on social media it means so 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 much really you've warmed my heart beyond words so now that she's out and about let's talk about my theories regarding the Barbie movie or Barbie the movie so first of all I'd like to say that I'm obsessed with every single trailer and material everything that has come out whether that's a song Dua Lipa's song everything that's coming because I know so many things are coming so I love 
everything. And I'm, I'm not even being like because it's Barbie. Yeah. There seems to be such care and thought behind this movie and production. And it actually really means a lot to us, you know, Barbie fans. So I'm really excited about that. And from what we know from the trailer, this gal is going to have a crisis. Okay. Some things are happening to her and she's going to have to come to the real world, which some people, aka Will Ferrell as Mattel, do not like. So also I think it's very clever that Mattel decided to make themselves the bad guy, sorta, as much as that's possible, of course, because they're still the company that makes Barbie. So I think it's very clever. And we know that this is the premise, Barbie is going to have a crisis and come to the real world. It's very simple and it can go so many ways. But what is very vague about it is what happens and why Barbie is having this crisis. Why does she have to come to the real world? So let's start with my first theory. Theory number one. I believe that there is some meaning to that scene we saw that there are some girls when Barbie comes to the real world and they say that like they haven't played with Barbies in like forever and I think that maybe this is what is causing her crisis to Barbie land. The fact that maybe people are losing interest so that's why things are starting to happen to her. Nothing is perfect anymore so there's some disturbances in the Barbie world so she comes here and maybe she will have an amazing journey and maybe she will meet Ruth Handler because we saw in the trailer a lady called Ruth which said the amazing line humans only have one ending ideas live forever and Barbie is an idea of course so I think that this will be a journey a reinvention of Barbie you know and I think that maybe it's very clever having the issue of people maybe losing a little bit of interest in Barbie play out in what goes on in Barbie land now my second theory is that Barbie is going to have an existential crisis all on her own and she's actually going to start becoming a real person like I mean actually taking life which is what will freak out the executives at Mattel or whatever so so bad because she's going to start becoming a real person. And I think that Kate McKinnon may be the Barbie that has gone through this and that's why she knows everything and she's giving like the whole red thing or blue pill thing but I think that maybe Barbie will start becoming real. And maybe, just maybe, she'll want to stay in the real world. That is something that I really want to see if it will be explored. Maybe this crisis is something more maybe it's a metamorphosis because Margot Robbie said in an interview if I remember she thought they wouldn't let them do this movie when she read the script which on its own makes me think that this is going to be something revolutionary and maybe Barbie will want more from her life Barbie will want to be real and then we'll see how that plays out when she's in the real world and if she's going to be able to stay there or if she wants to stay there or maybe if she will learn a message, evolve and want to go back and change Barbie Land 2. That's my second theory, which is life size similar maybe, but I don't know. Life size was one of my favorite movies, so I'm not mad about it if that's the case. And for my third theory for now, uh, we saw a small clip in one of the trailers uh, that actually said Kenland, if I'm not mistaken, or something of that nature. And that makes me wonder is there going to be a Barbie versus Ken war back in Barbie land while well, Barbie is gone? Or maybe, maybe the fact that Ken's want to take over and the Barbies with Issa Rae as um, the president are trying to stop that. Maybe this whole fight is what is causing the disturbance. So that's why Barbie is starting to have this these experiences because something is going wrong, something is you know going south in Barbie land so maybe for some reason this affects her first and maybe this will affect all the other Barbies in the end and they will have to learn and find a way to live together in harmony the Barbies and the Kens and of course there we're going to have a wonderful message I believe about about women's rights and abilities and roles in our society and in general and even in dolls because you know nothing is 
everything is interconnected and uh, we've already seen a little funny clip that Ken goes with the surgery and says uh, but I'm a man you know I think this is gonna play out there I think there's going to be like a small war or maybe not so small I don't know we'll see and then through wonderful messaging um, sure will be delivered by Greta Gerwig we'll have what we call harmony in Barbie land so maybe that's a concept too I don't know something to think about and my last theory for this video is that maybe the whole Barbie land disturbance and you know Barbie having these experiences is happening because Barbie is being discontinued. Maybe Mattel decided to pull her off the shelves and this is why she's experiencing all these things. And actually, I have to tell you right here and right now, I hope this doesn't happen because that was one of my actually worst nightmares when I was little. I was so scared. I was having bad dreams about Barbie being discontinued. I don't know why, but it was like a huge fear of mine that one day Barbie would be discontinued. Thankfully, here we are all these years later and we still have Barbie and the new Barbie movie. So this is my last theory and I think that Barbie will go on a journey, learn some things, meet her creator Ruth and maybe this whole thing will lead to the transformation of the brand and the continuation of Barbie and Barbie land. And I believe that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for checking out this doll with me, wishing me happy birthday on social media, hearing my theories here and of course thank you again for watching. It means so much. I want to hear your thoughts and theories down below in the comments. All I can say that overall, I am so, I am beyond, beyond excited. So beyond excited for this doll. I love her so much and for this movie and I can't wait to get all the dolls, of course, and you know, merchandise and everything and I cannot wait to see the movie once it drops. And of course, if you want to see more photos of our fabulous gal, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my dolls right here. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell ring to know every time I upload a new one. Thank you again for watching and until next time, do all the things you love, enjoy your dollies to the max, let your imagination run free and of course, keep a positive attitude because it really does change everything. Peace.